what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As opposed to Dr. Stethoscope with Chicago Police Department's revolver, put him on my mama's pregnant belly, eight and a half months. That was my first, that was my American History 101. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. So, uh, assessments. You know what I'm saying? Certain heat, you know, so you just can't take out certain uh, statements and certain actions. You say, whoa, some dynamic had to happen. Michael Jackson first said, don't make a difference if you black or white. When he caught that case, it's <laughs> tool change. They don't really care about us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's a cat called me yesterday from Cook County Jail. He running down point by point. You know what I said? I said, damn, you remember all this? Yeah. The heat is on them. You follow know what I'm saying? So you, so these, so a lot of times we, we like, even struggle, like even I'm impacted. By the dynamics that happened, my, my prenatal care. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As opposed to Dr. Stethoscope with Chicago Police Department's revolver, put him on my mama's pregnant belly, eight and a half months. That, that was my first, that was my American history 101. You know what I'm saying? So these, so the deal is the all you know what I'm saying, not have a subjective assessment, you know what I'm saying? And not like in revolution, as Minister UEP Newton said, it's not a, a dinner date, it's a protracted struggle. You know what I'm saying? Tug and pull. So ain't no absolutes, you know what I'm saying, where we at now? Because believe you do the Machiavellian system. You know, they're able to flip the script, you know what I'm saying? They're able to, make the, to criminalize the victims and to, re, to redirect your assessment. You go in to my man, we talking about this, next thing you know, to, they get some uh, some concessions to, 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 some, to somebody else or to another entity, like, oh, we, we made it. Mm-hmm. So it's a constant battle, it's mm-hmm. a constant battle. Let me ask you this, when you, uh, you, you just mentioned about the, uh, the father, the father, about your mother having a gun put to, mm-hmm. to her stomach when you was eight months old. When you was eight, when she was eight months eight pregnant. Months pregnant. Um, how old were you when you kind of understood what was going on with the way that the you know like the officers and the way that 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 they were you know that your your life could be in jeopardy at any time and that they had already assassinated your father. Like like how old was you when you really it clicked for you? I can't, I can't really say when it, they call it the aha moment. Yeah, yeah. And also, we have to be able to distinguish that Stephen Biko of the Black Conscious Movement said that black people in particular must grasp the ability to distinguish intelligence from the ability to articulate. So it always was a basic understanding. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, okay, man, the police ain't your friends. They're not coming to get no cats out the trees. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I, it reminds I mean, I got suspended from school from writing about Chairman Fred. Really? So I, not to, like people tell How old were you when that happened? Oh, I think I was, th- I think third, third or fourth grade, I think. You was writing about, about, writing yeah, about yeah, Chairman. Yeah, yeah. And it's always a, like, 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 people talk about now, like, man, you know, man, this system's sick. I said, what? You got some breaking news? You, you, and so it's certain things that was, you know, like a given. To, you know what I'm saying? But, but the, the ability to articulate, to put in this correct context, you know what I'm saying? The, the arm with the politics. It was, it's, been a, it's been a process, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because again, you, none of us are detached from the outside community. Like, I have an issue where people say, that, I just, as long as you do what you're going to do in the home, everybody's straight. We all impacted by imperialism. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The politics of inferior Marshall George Jackson say capitalism not only affects the economy, but it affects the psychic of the people. This, you know what I'm saying? To be engaged in a conversation with other people. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean Castle was saying, man, man, he think he back in the 60s, you know what I'm saying? He way back then. So that limits your ability to move forward with certain assessments. Yeah, let me ask you this, like, like when your, um, like, when did your mom explain to you uh, about safety with the police or safety when you go into school? Did she start that off? She had to start real early with you, cause it was a, it was a shadow. I've accused my mother, comrade, who was my A one from day one. Mm-hmm. I, I joke with her now, so you know, sometimes I think maybe me and you like was subjective, you know what I'm saying? Cause stuff like it was a given. And I just, I'm, you know, we have thought that other people, you know what I'm saying, you know, knew who Malcolm X was, knew, knew, knew what the police right. do to you, you know what I'm saying? And the deal is you, we cannot, we can't, we can't be subjective because the reality is stuff that like, I, as a child, like even some things that you just see, like go and get ice cream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would have to wait when the ice cream truck come down, I had, to, I had to sit back and make sure it's not a good Yuma ice cream truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because good Yuma was used by the federal government to, you know what I'm saying, to, to help frame Chairman Fred for the, they say he took 71 dollars of ice cream and yeah. gave it to the children. So this is conversation, like, like you know, like. And how much time did he get when he did that, when they arrested him for that? Bro. They, they had sentenced him, they, they uh, sentenced um, he was fake, I think the max was up to be, uh, to, to be 20, but he got out on, got out on appeal bond mm. in August, uh, August 13, 1969. And that's when they upped the ante and so they had to take him out because he, he got out on he was out on the appeal bond and was uh, uh, possibly to be taken back in late December because he, he, okay. he, he was still still fighting the case. Yeah. But I guess you can correlate it also with certain cats growing up in certain you know saying you, like 
it was a big thing some years back in uh, this child in the Philippines smoking cigarettes. And they were like, man, that, that's, that's, that's crazy. That baby smoking cigarettes. But they went over there and they seen all the tobacco ads and they seen all, all, it's, all, it's all the babies do that over here. Mm. So you follow what I'm saying? It's a climate that I grew up in, you know what I'm saying? Like discussions so of Africa, you know, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 you know what I'm saying? But again, I was de deprived of the outside, you know, the, the community. See, like when, when Nipsey Hussle, when he talking about when he went back to his homeland. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When he talking about it, Richard, how they would call the dawn, they would shut the whole city down. The family come, you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they pray. That impacts you. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.